G'day everybody, it's me again. Um, this is a little project I've been working on for quite some time. Um, as learning as I've been going and uh, and of course designing things to be better and learning and blowing things up and learning some more. I finally figured out how to drive these IGBT bricks rather cleanly. Now that's a one and a half amp MOSFET driver I see which feeds these two uh, complementary pair transistors which are tip 35 and tip 36 and then that drives the IGBT. Now all previous attempts to do this directly from the TL494 failed. Um, it didn't actually ever pull completely to ground. A lot of interference, a lot of issues, a lot of heating. Um, I was speaking with uh, Josh Wilkes who's one of my subscribers and we discovered well well basically oh, I never thought to try it but he suggested why not drive the transistors with the MOSFET driver so I says okay we'll give it a shot and we gave it a shot and all of a sudden I started uh, having a, a much much cleaner drive um, I will show you it working in just a moment um, however I still had a lot of interference coming from uh, EMF and other, otherwise from the motor um, a lot of kickback, a lot of inductive kickback um, and I resolved that by putting in a 7 amp 35 volt Schottky diode which is uh, a freewheeling diode to uh, stop any uh, reverse currents coming back and uh, kicking the IGBT in the guts which it was doing and you can see it on the scope um, I won't do it purposefully because I don't want to damage the brick but I uh, will show you the circuit working now and uh, I will show you how clean the drive is even though uh, we are running a load on the, uh, the brick here um, I've got my pulse width here. Now you look how bloody clean that is. There's not a scrap. It's a perfectly hard square. And there's pretty much no uh, interference at all with the gate drive coming from the motor. In the past I've had a lot of issues with this. Of course, being a TL-494, you don't ever get 100%. You, you get, you know, between sort of year-ish and, you know, like 96 or something, or 97% it is. I'd have to use another little transistor and another little trick to uh, to get that to go 100% when your pot's all the way up. Barely turning over. That is actually a 20 volt motor, which I'm running off 12, so yeah, we could give it more volts. Um, there's no need to at the moment, because I'm very happy with the my circuit that's working. Now, I have been joking with myself about making the motor sing. I will try to do it. Um, but, uh, yeah. Very interesting that finally we figured a solution. Of course I could buy ICs to do this, but yeah, I haven't done it yet. I need to order them. Been a bit lazy, but you get that. And uh, yeah. I'll be this all afternoon. Thanks for watching, everybody.